out. Let's try. Okay, it says excellent connection, and apparently we are live. Okay, let's see. Let's go to all chat, not top chat, live chat. Live chat. Good morning, friends. Hello. Uh, Polaration Motion says, hello, Scott. Hello, and how are we Artsy today? And Bat Brooks says, good morning. Good morning. And Bethany says, hello, my loves. Ringers are rung and mods are here. Hello, everybody. Good morning. Hello, Bethany. And just for the record, I slept last night. Arwen did not keep me up. Woohoo! I slept, which people, anyone who knows what's been going on with Arwen knows this is a huge deal for me. Um, Kirigen says hello. Andrew Does Stuff says hi. Hello. Anna Lee Lott says hello. Mauricio says hey everyone. How are you uh, today? Joe the Goat, hi, I love your art. Joaquin says hello, and Echo says hello, and Scarlett says good morning, and Ashra says hello. How are we, friends? Yeah, Bethany says yay. Seriously? Oh my god, I'm not kidding you. Sleep? I am a completely different person this morning. I actually can focus on something because I am not that tired. No, sleep is, is better than good. Sleep is just beautiful. Uh, Ava says hi. Razotech says yo. Good morning. Green Tea says daddy Harry. Daddy Harry. Cool Kirby says hi, Scott. Triple RDJ says hello. It's almost night here. Well, good evening. Good evening. Scott is so, drawing Harry Styles So today. question for you. So this is the photo reference I am using. Oh, how funny. You guys see it okay? Um, I'm on a delay, so hold on. Let me alt tap. Yes. All right. Mouth open, like his mid-sentence of talking or something like that. Mm -hmm. Should I close his mouth and have it be more like that? Like, does I this like have more person? But let me find out what everybody else likes. Gosh dang it. Hold on. This alt tab thing is hard for me sometimes. Um, let's see. So hi, I just joined. That looks hello. cool. So mouth open or mouth closed? Yeah, we need an opener or a closed, guys. What do you think? Closed? Maybe close it. Good morning, Mr. Scott. Good oh my morning. God, first live. Yes, it would look great. Hey, Nurbic is here. Hey, I'm a Harry fan and so excited. Should we give him a bit of a smile? Like Bethany close says, mouth. open is kind of hot. <laughs> Bro, right. no, I was randomly humming as it was, and Scott starts streaming. I'm crying. You're so funny. <laughs> Second picture looks better, to be honest. Open mouth, closed mouth, closed, closed, closed. Do you listen to Harry Styles? If so, what's your favorite song? I don't. I don't know any songs. There are more closed than opens. We All right. Some opens, but a lot of closed. So let's let's take a look here. And hello says mouth closed, please, in all capital letters. All right. Let's do that. Um, oh my gosh, I've never managed to catch one of your lives. How are you guys doing? We're doing good, thank you. It is snowing here where we are. Not hard snowing like flurries. <coughs> And uh, Scott did the Zendaya challenge. Um, I was one of the first ones to he do it. He was, yep. And it's true. She's impossible yeah. to get right. Do you play video games? Uh, yes, I do. I uh, drew you. You're my favorite YouTuber. That was Gabe. Oh, thank you, Gabe. Scott, why am I better at drawing when I don't have a reference or the reference is like a caricature? Um, that's just your style. There's nothing wrong with that. I, I'm I'm better at drawing with reference, and I'm not good without reference, and I hate that. <laughs> so I envy you. They're happy you're doing watercolor today. Oh, thank you. Could, glad I could catch a live again. I would like to say that you guys are goals. Oh, Natasha, you're very thank sweet. Thank you. How did you get into making art? Oh my God. Uh, my mom was an artist. She was a fashion yeah. illustrator and and my uncle was an artist. He was an illustrator. And so it was just always in my family. Yeah. I love your videos. That's the Space Robin. Thank hey, you, a work Space meeting Robin. got canceled. 
So it's lovely to be able to catch a live. That's Fire Gen 1. Yay! I love it when meetings get canceled. Isn't that fantastic? Yeah. So you guys like that better? Oh, I love it. Um, okay. Uh, Raghav Sharma says, um, I just wanted to ask what should be the budget for a beginner who wants to get into watercolor painting or you just tell me what type of paper I should use love from India. Oh um, boy, howdy. I don't know what kind of paper you have access to, right. but I would say uh, get good paper if you can, mm -hmm. and then um, you can get Windsor & Newton watercolor, get it. If not, find any watercolor. You're just learning, but get yeah. good watercolor paper, at least mm -hmm. 300, GS, uh, 300, pound or, uh, 300 GSM or 140 pound. Mm -hmm. uh, Canson is good. Mm -hmm. Arches is good. Um, Strathmore is good. This is Strathmore paper. Yes. Our art store it had a sale. They had a sale. Look at this. I got $2.94. That's some good they're, stuff. Be, tell them why. They're moving. The they're store moving. is moving so, and they're trying to get rid of some of their stuff. Plus, you guys know I like like a, like a you know this kind of aspect ratio. Mm -hmm. He likes the size. The skinny and tall size. So All right. So Gail is this... wanted it to be fart around Friday with me and my journals. You promised. Oh, Gail. oh, that's right. We were gonna do that. Mm -hmm. Gail's well, a little. Well, you forgot too. A little disappointed. I've been driving all over the world. In fairness, and a friend called me this morning, and her husband's in the hospital, so um, he's gonna be okay. But um, we're a little distracted. We will do that. Um, we will do that. All right. I think... Uh, Ooh, Moonlight the Wolf School had a snow day and they get to watch with us. Yay! Nice. He looks very good. He's smirking. He's smirking just a little bit. He's smoldering. Smoldering. Oh I, I need to listen to a Harry Styles song at some point. We have Steph Nerd and Mark Chen sent you a tip. And Mark, I oh, apologize thank you, Mark. profusely, but I cannot read what you wrote. I believe those are Chinese characters, and you it's not. There's, there's no, no translation. Option. No, I looked. I tried already. Um, Catriona is sick with COVID and lying oh. in bed, and we are helping them feel better. And we are so sorry that you are sick. We're sending you healing hugs. We are indeed. Um, this is my favorite artist drawing. My favorite musical artist. That's Lily. Aww. Hi, Scott. You're one of my favorite artists, and you're the one who got me out of my comfort zone to try different mediums. Keep up the awesome work. Oh, that's <laughs> wonderful. Hmm. Viva um, has to say before they go back to doing their Lidu drawing that they really adore your style and outlook on art. Thank you very much. The online persona says hello from Ontario. Hello. Um, it is 9.09 a.m. We are in the central time zone. Do you like musicals, honey? Not, not particularly. What's your favorite video game? Um, uh, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Tracy says, I think the next phase should be you two going on the road and doing this live. OMG. <sighs> <sighs> I am working on getting over my anxiety from too many years of being home. So uh, perhaps we will. Steph Nerd says morning. Good morning, Steph Nerd. I have had, just for the record, our son is home and I am driving him to work at 6.30 in the morning. So I have had copious amounts of caffeine already. And I have one cup of decaf and more caffeine. Don't tell Scott. Um, so I'm on it this morning. Um, hello from Uganda. Hello. I'm making stuff to organize my colored pencils, but where do I put my markers? You know what? Glass jars work great for that. There's also, um, on I think on like Amazon, you can get uh, marker organizers. Ooh, are they expensive? I don't think they're too expensive. They're like uh, like just cube kind of things. You just kind of stick them in the different cubes. Just Lime Guy asks, is it true that the masterpiece is the piece of art that the artist is satisfied with? I, I wouldn't know what a masterpiece is if it bit me in the butt, uh, honestly. So um, Untrue. I, why? You mean a masterpiece in your own of your own art? Yeah. Let's be specific. But I, I would say, um, I mean, that that's... I, I always assume that a masterpiece is something that stands out from other pieces. I, I that's 
but I, I'm not an art historian, um, so I'm not the best person to ask that question. It's a good rhetorical question. It's a good question to ask out there, but... It's a good rhetorical question to ask. I don't funny. know. Um, okay. Um, Rob says, and if I pronounce your name wrong, please, I apologize. Um, hi, Scott. Love you guys. How are you and Donna doing? Have you ever done sculpting? Uh, I would love to uh, one day, um, mm -hmm. but I, I um, every time I do, it is you know just kind of playing around and it's nothing too serious. But I would love to learn how to do that and maybe work with a I don't know a group or something that would know what to do with the sculpture when it was done to make it more permanent. And what's your favorite movie? Princess Bride. And um, Bavisha, Bavisha, um, and please, if I butchered that, I apologize. Um, there are so many tutorials on watercolor. There are so many things in the Art Hacks playlist. Check out the Art Hacks playlist. Dumpster Fire um, says hot press or cold press. Uh, I, I mean, there's no right or wrong. Just first of all, but mm -hmm. um, I personally like uh, hot press for gouache and cold press for watercolor. So I'm currently using cold press. Um, let's see. Um, good morning from Minnesota. Good morning. What watercolors did you start with? Uh, I started off with Windsor and Newton. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. This week I had three tests, algebra, geometry, and Romanian. They were all so hard. What used wow. to be your favorite subject? That's Mayak. Um, recess. Wow. Uh, anytime I can get out of school. I mean, I liked art, but I didn't really... I mean, art was great, but uh, I just didn't like school. Um, Vaishnavi says, how long are you married? 30 years. A whole lot longer than a lot of you have been alive. My grandma also makes realistic paintings. She made a portrait of me, and it's really cool. That's great. Love your grandma. Um, hey, Scott and Donna, do y'all listen to One Direction? Just wondering. I do. Um, what is your second fa most favorite medium? Gouache. Have, you have made drawings where one side is expensive stuff and one side is cheaper stuff. Correct. <sighs> Liza I did one. I did one side was watercolor and one side was gouache. Mm -hmm. That was the serious black one. Okay, and then you did the Ang one, which was different. Oh, I did Ernie and Bert, where I did uh, Ernie with the Crayola and Bert with the Windsor and Newton. Okay, so check. Just Google like um, what Sesame Street or Crayola. Crayola. There's a there there's a go. playlist I think oh. for Crayola. Okay, perfect. Um, let's. See, Donna gives me pure positive vibes and makes my day. You're so sweet. Thank you. How are y'all feeling today, painting friends? Oh, we're doing good. Thank you. We are very good. What alcohol marker brands do you recommend and have you tried them? Oh, uh, I definitely recommend the Artbeak uh, mm -hmm. brand. Um, they are really cheap and they work really well. Um, after that, I like the Ohuhus. Mm -hmm. Donna is such an extrovert and you're such an introvert. Great couple. Okay. Um, I fake it well, don't I? Um, who is your favorite musician? Uh, Seal right now. Mm -hmm. Hello from Long Island. Well, hello, hello Long Island. Hi, I love your art. You're the one who got me interested in watercolor. Thank you. Hey, Scott. I'm starting a large watercolor painting, 24 by 36. Wow, that's a big one. Yep, this is Emily. Do you have any advice working for working with watercolor on such a large scale? Thank you. Um, I have worked on larger pieces before, and um, you definitely want to make sure they're taped down to maybe a very large board because mm -hmm. um, it's going to warp a lot. Um, also work from top to bottom keep it flat and um, just pick away at it little by little don't mm -hmm. try to you know rush it um, enjoy the process what colored pencils do you recommend well I've always been a, a Prismacolor fan but I really like the Caran those are really expensive though so if you're on mm -hmm. a budget um, 
uh, Artex mm-hmm. has a uh, seventy-two colored pencils, and it's like twenty-seven ninety-nine. Yeah, it's on yeah. Amazon. We did a. You can mm-hmm. see it under our products tested. Mm-hmm. But if you you guys also, um, you have to buy supplies for where you are. Yeah, different you know? different Don't, countries have different right. uh, deals and. And you may not be able to get the Karandash pencils. Like, and there are people overseas who are like, the Prismacolors cost so much for us here, but we can get Karandash pencils here much cheaper. Please buy whatever is the most reasonable price for where you are. Because, um, you know, we want to be... I mean, look, we want you guys to make art and we, we get it. Um, but um, you got to... Everybody's got a budget. Um, would you ever be willing to do more lectures in other countries apart from Italy? Love from Turkey. I want to go to Turkey. And we hope you're all doing well. Yeah, after all of the stuff that's going on. Um, I, I I didn't really enjoy uh, teaching, mm-hmm. so uh, I probably wouldn't do that. But um, we have at some point we, talked about a meetup at like a museum somewhere. Yeah, I mean, we would like to visit. Would, right, where everybody would draw their own stuff. Um, hello from the Philippines. Is YouTube your source of income mostly, and how do you make a living with your art? Ha! Huh, uh, we don't! Thanks. <laughs> Sorry. No, we, we uh, this is our first year. I'm 54. This is mm-hmm. our first year we've been able to make a living yep. with the art. And... Um, in 35 yes. years we've been together. Let's yeah, YouTube YouTube last year did really well for us. We really, really were very grateful for that. Uh, this year we're unsure. Um, let's see. Um, you guys are so inspirational and I love your art style so much. You got me out of my comfort zone when it oh, comes to great. art. that's great. Thank you for being amazing. My pleasure. I don't think I like these lines here. Do you have any tips for using watercolors for shading? I'm learning and I want to get an idea of how to use them correctly. I like cool colors. If my husband would listen to me, he would do a video on shadows and shading. Yes, I don't know how. But he won't listen to me. Literally no one can do it. Let's see. I did get some sleep. Thank you for noticing. I greatly appreciate it. Sleep is, for all of you who think that staying up, you young people... Who think that staying up all night long is glorious when you are 50 sleep will be your friend let me tell you um i am actually painting a paint by number right now i do not paint like scott but i do i am painting a paint by number um what watercolor paints would you recommend for beginners honey um i <laughs> i like uh windsor and newton but i mean you can use crayola just mm-hmm. to start off it's the paper you want good paper mm-hmm. we also have the grabby watercolor kit that we put together with grabby that if you're just starting out and you don't have any supplies yeah it's got a pencil a paintbrush comes a with the paper paper the paints it comes with everything in a little in a little tiny bag you can just stick it in your bag stick it in your backpack stick it in your pocket and go and and it's only 25 dollars with our the code that we have on our website we don't get anything for this but we, we collaborated with them to bring this to you guys so you guys could have that. So um, if you're not starting out with any supplies, try that. That's my two cents. Um, honey, what brand are the liner pens that you're using? These are zebra brush pens. They're my favorite. Can you do a one color only piece? Yeah, that's just um, black and white. I mean, I, I, I've, I've done a few I drew Michael Jackson in just pencil. I did Aang. I've done a lot of... Uh, I did uh, Captain Jack Sparrow with a ballpoint pen. Do you like Madonna? Um, yeah. yeah Hello, was... we grew up with Madonna. Yeah, yeah. Um, good morning from Minnesota. Is there a reason you start your lives at 9.03? Uh, well, your clock is off. What so do you mean your clock is off? We start at 9. They no, said there a reason we started, we started late. We didn't start late. We started at 9.03. You no, were no, correct, no, no, no. and as usual, remember, my wife is wrong. No, do you but, remember that line from... No, you don't. You wouldn't remember that. Uh, it's from The Princess Diaries. Anyways, the reason is why... never late. No, it's Everyone a else wizard. Is simply it's a wizard early. is never late. No, he comes exactly when... Yeah, precisely okay. when he claims Well, it depends to. on what movie you're quoting. Okay. Yeah. Anyways, the point is we start at 9.03 because that's mm-hmm. when my wife was able to bring all of the 
caffeine and tea that she wanted into the hobbit hole. Excuse me. The last thing that was asked for was, oh my God, the dog came into the downstairs. Please bring a diaper and get and, and get here for the dog. Oh, I wonder what who said that. Ever. You did. I know. It's, I don't oh, you're cry. so full oh of crap. Oh my God. Stop. You're full of crap. How do you line the hair? Okay, you're watching you're watching it. hair. Um, and, there's, and there's a video on it too. Yep. There's more than one video on Scott doing hair. What type of graphite pencils do you use? Um, I just use a number two pencil that I get at the store. You watch Princess Diaries. My cousins are obsessed with it. Only about a million times. I love that movie. It's so cute. Anne Hathaway, I love her. Um, what's your favorite piece of art that you ever made? Uh, probably the Animal Crackers movie poster. Can his wife draw? I don't know. Can his wife draw? Not well, but yeah. Hey, I do stick people better than you will ever do them. I am so good at stick people. Um, Stefner, I'm just going to sip my coffee. Did someone say tea? What are we drinking this morning? Oh, Lula's here. Okay, so Lula has the uh, teafoundry.com. You guys have to check her out. But um, this morning, because I was up so early, I had uh, two cups of the Herod's Strong Breakfast Tea. And um, then I had a cup of decaf, which I'm nursing right now. And then that will be followed up with a Pittsburgh breakfast tea. So, yeah, I'm caffeinated, people. Look out. Um, would you ever go back to your original pieces and redraw them? Like stuff you've done a long time ago. I'd, I'd rather not. I don't like to look backwards in that way. And, and I'd rather have those pieces kind of represent who I was at the time. You know, I, I know I'm a better artist now. Um, I, I don't need to prove it to myself. And I don't think there was any art that I did that I feel like uh, I left unfinished or anything like that. Well, that's the corner of shame. Uh, let's see. Apparently, we are cute and funny. Well, what I'm affordable thinking. watercolor? Blah, blah, blah. Let me try that. Again. What affordable watercolor brushes would you recommend? Uh, I did a video on that. Um, uh, for affordable, uh, I mean, you can get any any old uh, ones at any art store. Um, <coughs> they won't last as long. Ones that I found that lasted pretty well were the. Um, the travel ones, and I think it was $14 for four or five of them. I thought it was three. I don't know. It was a good deal. Um, okay, Gail is so sweet. Recently, we got our tax return and wanted to share the love. You two are adorable. She sent you a very nice tip. Oh, thank you, Gail. Um, okay, so several people have asked you to do Taylor Swift. Okay. Um, will you try digital art again? There are a few companies... Who wants got to try their products? So, we may be doing some digital art again. Lord help me. You guys should <laughs> stop. We really should get David to do this digital art stuff and try the stuff because I don't David think they want to see it done digital. well. They just want to see me squirm. Honey, everybody likes to see you squirm. Stefner says, I didn't have it in me to wait for the tea to brew and the coffee was already done. Oh, I had no choice this morning. I think I they to... want to do like a I commercial. They're like, Adobe, you know, whatever. So simple, even Scott can do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <coughs> I didn't say it. That was not me. <coughs> My stick figures sound gorgeous. You guys are funny. Um, what happened to your live? I was waiting for the community post. Oh, boy. Um... Uh, well, ask Scott. What? Where? Where's my? Where's my live, honey? They were thinking I was going to go live today. I think we. Our son came home for a little bit, for a couple of days, and uh, and I think we just forgot. Oh, Nathaniel. Yeah, man, The Hobbit is awesome. I have read it and watched it on Wednesday. I think. Also, does Donna bully Scott often? Every yeah. single solitary day for the last thirty-five years. Thirty-five. Years. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome to living in an Italian household. I'm kind of numb to it now. He really is. Uh, let's see. Bethany, shocker. I have never seen The Princess Diaries. Oh, yeah. 
Okay. Um, Purple Bear says your wife is stealing the show. Yeah, Again, that's pretty normal. He's really used to this. Um, so there you go. Anne Hathaway and Julie Andrews are two of my all-time favorite actresses. Yes, Avery. Yes. Can you do video game characters as in a series? Yeah, we've been thinking about that. Um, let's see. It is 9.27 a.m. where we are. Are we flirting? You think we're flirting? Really? Somebody thinks we're flirting. I don't know. I don't flirt with him. We've been married for too long for me to flirt with you. Donna, we need to have a movie. Correct, Steph. Absolutely correct. Honey, what markers do you recommend? Cool Gamer would like to know. I, I like, for the price, uh, I like uh, the Art Beak ones. And there's a, a video on that. And they're also in my uh, art supplies we've tested. Uh, oh, hoo hoo's are really good. Oh, hoo hoo. Um, what does Scott gift for birthdays? Paintings? He does indeed. That is correct. Um, and, and family, random family members will just call him out of the blue. My son had a baby. Can you paint them? <laughs> yeah. It's very cute. Um, where do you live? We live in the United States. That's very cute. How long have you been married? 30 years, but we dated for four and a half before we got married. Did you attend a design school? Scott went to Academy of Art in San Francisco. I did. Could you do a Batman the Animated Series sketch? That would be fun. Budget try. travel watercolors. Go. Budget travel? The grabby um, set. Um, dear God, the hair is so cool and so real feeling. Oh, thank you. What is your favorite book? Uh, the Hobbit. He is never going to paint with coffee. He's not, it's, first of all, he can't stand the smell of coffee. Yeah, I don't like the smell of like, coffee. Like, I will go, would go to a coffee shop with a friend of mine and sit there for like three hours. So, of course, I'm going to smell like coffee, right? I would come home and he would smell my hair and be like, oh, my God, you need to take a shower. You smell I don't like, you smell say like you need to take a shower. I just say you smell like coffee. Yes, with that look of disdain on your face. Yes, but... Uh, so, I would go and take Go a shower upstairs and, and shower like now, woman. You stink, woman. <laughs> Jeez. Do you prefer to draw women or men more than the other? Um, don't, yes. Don't lie. Don't no, lie. I, 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 I definitely, I grew up drawing muscle men all the time. I love yeah. superheroes and <laughs> he did indeed. muscles I can, I can and all of that. that. And then I got into the whole Art Nouveau thing and then I love the hair and I love dresses. And, but men are easier oh. to draw. Women are definitely harder to draw. Yep. You know, women as usual are just difficult. We are. We are difficult. And I will, I will leave that alone. High maintenance. The best things in life are not <laughs> easy, my friend. Um, when and how did you guys first meet? Oh, God. You guys always want to know this. All you newbies always well, come in here and want to know. That's fine. It's uh, cute. We, uh, I met her at a department store. I was working in uh, fashion jewelry, mm -hmm. and um, in her first day, she got assigned to handbags, mm -hmm. which she was very excited about because that's her favorite thing. Oh my god, I love bags! And love um, bags. and the rest is history. She was going to school. She was going to San Jose State. I was mm -hmm. going to the Academy of Art in San Francisco, mm -hmm. and we would work there part time. Yeah, we did. He was so cute, so cute. We had to, I had to wear a suit. Oh God, he had to wear a suit with this. It was it was like the the late eighties, early nineties, and so he had this cute little skinny tie, and oh, he looked so cute. You still, when you put on a suit, oh, let me tell you, you look damn good in a suit. You look even better in a tuxedo. <laughs> You do. I never wear a tuxedo. You wore a tuxedo when I, the last time you wore a tuxedo, okay, was 20 years ago. I was pregnant. <laughs> I was so pregnant. Insane. No, I was pregnant with the boys and we went to, your, your cousin was getting married. Yeah. And you wore a tuxedo and OMG, you look so fine. Let me tell you. <laughs> I remember that. I'm not like James around, Bond like... walking around in a tuxedo all day long, you know? <laughs> like literally 20 years okay. ago. It was the last but, time I wore a tuxedo. But I remember that because you look so good. <laughs> so, um, 
Okay, so super funny. Somebody then asked, what's he wearing right now? All right, here's your visual. Uh, a Kiss t-shirt and uh, sweatpants and tennis shoes. Literally a Kiss there's t-shirt. There's my shirt. <laughs> <laughs> and tennis shoes, so funny. Um, Nikki, you're so funny. She's, Nikki says, God, if I don't have a marriage like this, I don't want one. <laughs> you know, it, it, it seriously, like, it's so funny. Nathaniel says, 20 years ago, damn, he must have looked really good in a text. You have no idea. I have no idea either because I don't remember you. it. But I, Okay, so here's a funny story. So I'm pregnant with the boys at the time, right? So I'm gaining weight. I have twins, right? And I'm like, I am not paying money for a stupid, idiotic dress. So I go to find a dress off the rack. I find this dress, it's like 20 bucks. It's this beautiful dress, right? I, I didn't even want to have it altered. So I took packing tape and I taped up the hem. I wore shoes I had already. I wore, a, took a purse I had already. And I was like, I was the cheapest bell at the ball. It was, it was funny. And you just looked so, uh, you looked stunning. Anyway, um, there are so many people who have asked you today to draw Taylor Swift. So All right. I'll look her up. I don't know who she is, but I'll see if I can. <laughs> You're gonna kill everybody. I've heard of, I, I don't know. I'm sure I've heard her song. <laughs> ha ha, I'm wearing a King Kong on Broadway t-shirt and pajama pants. We're all in this together. Says nice. Andy. Hey, I've got a blow dryer sweatshirt on and some sweatpants. There we go. Could you try drawing Venom, please? Venom? I, that's what they're asking for. Yeah, I mean, I could. They want you to draw, this one wants you to draw reptiles or strange animals. I would love to see you draw a bearded dragon. Oh my God, my niece has a bearded dragon. I was always so scared to hold them and then I got a chance to hold a bearded dragon. They're actually really soft. I was pleasantly surprised. Um, let's see. Taste in music, I am a really bad one ask. What's your taste in music? Um, 70s, 80s, 90s music. But I do like Lizzo, Lizzo's cool. Um, when was the moment you knew you wanted to be an artist? Um, it was probably in high school. You know, it wasn't an aha moment so much as, hey, you're going to have to apply for a college. And um, what do you want to do? And it was like, well, I'm only good at this. So, I mean, I always wanted to do Spider-Man. But uh, you don't think about your career. We have a dog. Her name is Arwen, and she's a rescue. And she's an old lady with a heart condition now. So you'll hear her wander in and out and make noises and do all the things. Um, how do you like drawing yourself? I don't. I don't. Mm -mm. I don't. I don't do self-portraits. Mm -mm. He does not like them. Scott keeps giving wholesome Disney grandpa vibes. Did he ever have the <laughs> I want abs time? He just looks so damn elegant. Oh my God. He, he he doesn't have like, he did have want abs, but he's always had the most amazing shoulders. Like he's got these great broad shoulders. Hold on. Oh, sorry, our son called. Hey, Saved by the bell. Oh, oh, oh. oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Yeah. All right, I'm getting lost. This is why I picked the, this picture is because of the hair. I wanted to do the hair. It's fun hair. I don't think I don't appreciate the quiet too.
excuse us for just one second. Great. I know. Great. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. Sorry, we had a small little family moment there, but all is well. All is well, all is well. Would you ever consider doing botanical art? You mean like painting with plants? No, like painting plants. What? <laughs> paint? How do you even paint with a plant? Hello? What do you do? Dip the leaves in paint? Like Gilligan's Island kind of thing, you know? Oh um, Let's crush the plants, and then we will take the plants, and then we... I mean, I, I have painted He does not like stuff, to paint but... plants, leaves, or still life. He does not like to do that. And you can tell when he does do animals, like animals at the zoo... He's thinking of actually riding things like the tiger. So that, that's, wouldn't. that's about, okay. Lots of other people wouldn't. Um, what do you suggest for a white detail pen? Um, where is it? The Uniball Signo. Mm -hmm. This one is the whitest white pen that I got. It's very thin, so I can only use it for certain things, but it's definitely the best one. Um, there, Crystal, there is a video on how Scott found his art style. It's called, My Art is a Mosaic. If you look for that one, you will find that. And um, Jamie Brown is like shaking her head because she's like, I love the smell of coffee. <laughs> yeah. A lot of people can't believe that you don't like coffee. Um, I love your videos. Thank you. Yeah, please don't spam the chat. It's too hard for me as it is to um, figure out all the comments. Um, unfortunately, Scott cannot ride a red panda unless we get a sled being pulled by them, all of the lines of which in the wardrobe. Um, Scott doesn't get to be anything with the red pandas because I will mow him over getting to the red pandas first. Oh, they're so cute. Um, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. Uh, no, we've never tried the Ohuhu watercolor brushes, uh, just the Ohuhu markers and the Ohuhu paper. Any art exercise you didn't like in school, but it made you a better artist. For me, that was contour drawing. Uh, for me, it was figure drawing. Mm -hmm. I thought you liked those classes. I, I complained about everything in college. You did indeed, actually, yeah. And yet, and yet, you didn't have to take business law or finance, so you really didn't have anything to complain about. No. Do you still get commissions from your previous work, like movie posters or comics? I don't. I don't actually. Um, I uh, hold on. I'm sorry. I yeah. I, and I don't really pursue it anymore either. Yeah. I'm just kind of doing this for me, and you know, I I um, I I did a community post uh, earlier this morning. Mm -hmm. And I was just thinking just how grateful I am for all of you and all of your encouragement and, and all of the wonderful um, compliments <laughs> and and uh, everything. And it's really made a difference in our lives. And, uh, and I just wanted to reciprocate and, uh, and say how, you know, just let you all know that you guys are making a difference in our lives. And... Um, and it just made me just really appreciate that symbiosis, uh, mm -hmm. how we can help each other through difficult times because everybody's going through something. And I think a lot of us forget, you know, that um, we're just all normal people and we're dealing with stuff We we have deaths in the family and sicknesses and financial troubles and everything mm -hmm. else and so it's nice to um support each other through all of that yeah okay liza don't tell donna what you just said uh let me take a wild guess and let's enjoy the silence while donna's gone something to that effect oh yeah yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. something to that effect which doesn't surprise me um can i draw you I would be honored. Um, Scott hated high school. They said, what's your high school experience? Said, I still hate it to this yeah. day. Yep, yep, yep. Stupid yep. high school. All right. Um, do you guys want Harry with or without stubble? 
I am. That is Harry without stubble. I am not. Um, that is Harry with stubble. I'm not. I'm not answering that one because I'm jaded. So with the little stubbly stubbles. Without the little stubbly stubbles. Uh, let's see. Without. Without. What type of paper is that? Without. This is just a tiny bit without with without without Strathmore watercolor paper. Uh, most people. Wait a minute. Uh, no, nope, there's more withouts than widths. All right. Let it be written. Let it be said, or whatever they say when I do that. Liza says, "Oh goodness, Donna, you know Scott too well. He was complaining about silence." Oh, I know. Come on, please. <laughs> complaining. 30, 30, I was. I was, was thrilled the for one, the silence. There, there's been like maybe less than a handful of times when I have had laryngitis and have not been able to talk. The best times he's ever had. The best times. And then he got the boys in on it, and he was like, "Mom can't talk. Ha 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 ha. You can do anything you want." And I looked at him, and I was like, "Then you can clean it up." You can clean up all the messes if they can do whatever they want. Mm -mm. Nope, nope, nope. Um, why don't you do Michael Jackson? I did. Mm -hmm. Several times. And I did Janet mm -hmm. Jackson. I screamed when I saw this live like I have a Harry Styles pillow and a phone case and even <laughs> a shrine. Wow, you have a shrine to Harry Styles. Um, there is a video on how Scott broke out of Art Block. Um, it is in the Art Hacks playlist. I showed my little sister the autism video you had and she loved it, saying that she now wants to do all of those techniques that you use. Thank you so much for all that you do. Oh, oh that's great. That's so nice that you showed that to her. I hope those things are helpful. I really, really do. Should I do a circle background or no? A circle no, background? I don't think so. I don't know. You do you. I'm not going to say a word. Um, let's see. I think it's time to start the new... I think it's time to ditch the old paintbrushes. <gasps> you guys are here for the changing of the paintbrushes. Wait, why are you putting them in there? That's where my old paintbrushes go. Oh, for crying out loud. He keeps everything. He's like a pack rat, for God's sakes. So what are you going to use now? I'm going to use these. Oh, okay. Nothing like a nice, sexy new paintbrush. Yes, thank you, Etcher Labs. Yes, thank you, Etcher. So these are the Etcher Labs paint paintbrushes. Mm -hmm. They are really nice. They last a good time. So you can see this is... Let's put it this way. They take a beating because Scott does not what, honey? Care? Clean them. Oh. He doesn't clean them. So can you guys see the difference? Do that again. Wow. So pointy, not pointy. No, okay, now how long did it take you to wear that one down to that? I, I think I've been using these for at least four or five months. Really? So that, that's pretty good. Boy, those points are like razor sharp. Yeah. Beautiful. Hmm. Um, okay. Uh... Tell everybody what type of paper you're using right now. This is Strathmore paper. Um, mm -hmm. We just got it at the art store. Um, our local art store, Plaza Art, was having a 80% off moving sale. And uh, so oh. we stopped in. Yeah, and picked up some stuff. Chicken Nugget, we have um, YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook. Pick something. We have it all. Gabe, if you do not tag us, we will not see your drawings. You have to tag us on social media or we, because we get so many. Um, we Tags, just, yeah, actually. We, we're, we're tagged in a lot of artwork. We're tagged so, in so many things. Which it's, is great. Yeah, it is. It's and, great. And, but it's, and I do my best to try to see everybody's yeah. work. It's yeah, just, he does. I am only one person, though. Yeah. If you, if you The best place probably is the Discord. If you really want us to see something, tag us in the Discord. Um, how do you deal with the hard to get out of bed days in reference to your very sweet post this morning? That's um, Julia. Julia, we I, have had the last three days of hard to get out of bed days. Yeah. So the way that I do it is, um, I take a dory from, um, 
Finding Nemo kind of approach, which is just keep swimming, just keep swimming. And um, so when I wake up, I just keep saying, just keep swimming, just keep swimming. And I figure it'll work itself out over time, but I have to keep making art even when I don't feel like it. I have to keep going even when I don't feel like it because the alternative is to just sit and sulk. And that does no one any good. And so I figure... Well, hold on. Sometimes you just need to have a very short time of feeling your feelings. and But you have to move on from that. I'm not discounting that. Um, I'm just saying for me, uh, I find that... Um, and and I'll, I'll take a day off where I just sit on the couch. But I'm just saying, but for me, it's a slippery slope. You know, one day turns into two days, turns into a week, et cetera, et cetera. So I just try to keep moving um, so I don't stop. And, and that's just how I, how I do it. I need to sometimes stop and feel all my feels. Blow dryer. Let me blow um, through this. Scott shows line weight in a lot of different uh, places. No, our boys are not into art. The zebra brush pens come from jetpens.com, but you can find them on Blick. I'm not sure you can find them on Amazon. Um, yes, we do remember doing Kermit the Frog for you. Um, all right, so let me go back here. Um, Sarah Animation says, I feel like I can't swim. I'm floating, but I'm stuck. Does that make sense? Yeah, yes. It totally makes sense. 100% makes sense. And, and uh, you know, I mean, everybody's got this. That's why I was saying everybody's got something mm -hmm. that they're going through. They do. But um, 100%. Sweet. Find a way out of it. Find a way to get what's bothering you off of your head. I, I know for, for Donna, what helped her... Uh, when she lost her father, we were going through COVID. It said yep. it was journaling. Yep. And she just wrote every day. She I did. just wrote. I still write every single day in my journal, and it, yeah. is, it has been um, a godsend for me. It's been like my my saving grace, so to speak. It just gets everything that I'm feeling out of my head and puts it on the paper. But it could be journaling. It Doesn't could matter. be walking. Yep. It could be exercise. Yep. It could be painting. Mm -hmm. It could be. But find something yep. that if you got better at it, it would make you happy. Mm -hmm. um, that that's the way I look at it. Is is like, well, days are going to keep coming and mm -hmm. they're going to keep going. Yep. And if I keep doing this one little thing mm -hmm. every day, a year from now, I'm going to look back and I'm going to see how far I've gotten at it. It could be... It's I could also do... something to look forward to. It's something that gets you out of bed in the morning. It even is, but, you... but, but even like, yeah. like, like some days you just don't want to do it. But the point is you keep doing it because you're looking at your future self. Do it for your future self. Yeah. That's what I'm always thinking of. What would me of 2024 would have wanted me to have done and it's like keep painting mm -hmm. keep doing this because there'll be a payoff and the payoff might just be personal you know i did it it might be hey i'm better at watercolors hey i've learned this or but it's something and and because um, you can't control so many things in the world oh, God. you can't control yeah. Yeah. you know your finances you can't control your health mm -hmm. But you that is can't... my that is my personally biggest thing is the lack of control of the. Sometimes the world seems so out, like it's just spinning, 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 and you can't control that. But you can control yourself. You can, yeah. Like I said, it could be you could be doing thirty push-ups a day mm -hmm. and see how much it, it you helps. Could, you could walk a mile a you day. Could you make could make cookies, learn a new recipe. Yeah, you could you could do. You could draw, you could write, you mm -hmm. could, there's so many things you can do. You could yep. take piano lessons, but yeah, music you can do these things mm -hmm. and 
they only benefit you, but they give you something to say, I did this, mm -hmm. I did it. Mm -hmm. And and that's, I mean, for us, we, we, we push ourselves, because I hate to, to leave the house. We push ourselves to leave the house. We push ourselves to travel, you know, even if we just get in the car and drive somewhere. Yeah. But it's something. And those are the things that you have to say, your future self is going to thank you for. Blow dryer. Yeah. I hope that helps. And, and that's why I started the conversation in the community post, is I just wanted us to know that we can help each other, we can encourage each other. Mm -hmm. And and even the, even the, the you guys coming in here and, and complimenting us or, or saying that um, you, you, like, you like my art, I know it seems silly, but it keeps me going. Yeah. And and so just know that you're having an effect mm -hmm. on other people's lives mm -hmm. just by <clears throat> just by saying that. Mm -hmm. So thank you. Mm -hmm. um, Sam says, "How about meltdowns when you can't control yourself and the people around you don't know what to do at this moment in time?" Uh, I know those are. Okay, so how about if we get really raw? Um, I have had a bout of extreme anxiety and I was going to meet a couple of friends for lunch one day and we were going to sit outside because I'm terrified of COVID um, and um, I cried the entire way from the house to the restaurant and um, I called Scott and I said I, I, I just don't know if I can do this I don't know if I can do this and and it wasn't the people because I love the people it was being out of the house and I've never in 53 years ever been like that. Yeah, she's the extrovert between the two I'm, of us. Well, I'm, I'm an ambivert. I go back and forth. I, I need my downtime to recharge. But okay, I do keep like going. People, Move on. But Move on. I did it. I pushed myself and I did it. There you go. And um, talking to Scott kind of got me off the ledge. And he's like, I'll go instead of you. I can, I can come and I can, I'll go and I'll go have, I'll go, I'll go be with them. And I was like, you know, you don't want to leave the house either. No, but, but I, I love pushed, you and I'll do it. I pushed myself to do it. And I don't regret it, but it's hard to do things sometimes. But you know that it's a good thing to do. You know where you're going in your mind isn't going to hurt you. And just try. Yeah. You know, just, just but, try. But regarding the, the, the comment, the question about the, the meltdowns, yeah, um, that's hard. That's that's a part of. I'm assuming you're talking about like an autistic meltdown. Yeah, that's just a part of how how it works with how us. How you're built, and yeah. and um, the people around you should know and accept it and mm -hmm. give you the space and and know learn what will make it better. Learn what will, for me. Um, it is we made a plan. And I'm doing this very stressful thing. Right. And like the, the one I the remember child. is, yeah, we went to Spain. Yeah. And and I was terrified of going to Spain, and and, uh, and you know I've never been there, blah blah blah, whatever. Right. And so I found a hotel, and I and I and I got everything right. I got the the room that I wanted, and everything. Oh, and then we traveled for twenty something oh, hours, really? got there, and <laughs> they didn't have the room, and I just lost it. And I was just, I'm going home. I'm going home. You know. And yeah. and um, it. it at, you know, again, this was years ago. We, I wasn't diagnosed, so we didn't mm -hmm. know what to. So I just, I just looked like a jerk, <laughs> you know. But I was done. I can't handle well change like that. That, you know? that being said, we had our boys with us. We had it we was were a lot. For yeah. this. It was a big trip. Yeah. Okay. Hold on. Blow dry. Big trip.
Um, Santa says happy Friday, by the way. Hey, happy Friday, Santa. How you doing, Santa? I'm out of words. I have to thank you for talking about this topic right now and giving me us advice. You know, we're all we're so, all learning. Sometimes we skew and and on, let's let's be honest. Like we're doing life with you guys, okay? We have been for like two years now, and and sometimes it happens. You know, we're all human. We just need to be nice to each other and give each other some grace. You know, it's not easy, and and the last few years have been hard for people. And I think if everybody was just a little nicer and a little more patient with everybody else, this would be a lot better of a world. Like I said, everybody is struggling with something. They are. Everybody is. Yep. You know, they there's sure there's are. no one whose life is absolutely perfect nope. and they're perfectly healthy and everything mm -hmm. is going perfect. And it's it's just it's not just like life. that. No. And once we realize that everybody is going through something mm -hmm. and we cut them some slack and we, yeah. we lift them up and we give them that little bit of Yeah. Um, support. Yeah, it, it'll make the world a better place. So much better place. But I also think we should we should just continue to acknowledge mm -hmm. those like all of you who bring happiness to us, mm -hmm. and that's why I wanted to say it's like thank you yeah. for bringing joy to our lives, for giving us purpose. Yeah, we get up in the morning, and I look forward to coming here and being with you guys. It gives me a purpose in the morning. Um. Okay. We love you. Let's move on. What's Donna's favorite washi tape? The kind of tape I can stick on paper. It's sad and pathetic, but true. I love all washi tape. Um, they want to pick the background for you. Okay. Um, right now he's using an Etcher Labs paint brushes. Um, he does not fear ruining the line art because the line, um, the paints are, are the brushes are um, waterproof. Zebra brush pens. They're yeah, waterproof. they're waterproof. So he won't ruin the line work. It's automatically dry. Blow dryer. hesitant to tell people that they can draw because everyone will ask them to draw things and it stresses them out. Yep. Scott feels like that all the time. I don't. You too. I don't hide it from anybody. You don't hide it, but you're not the most forthcoming sometimes when you meet new people. I just don't talk to people. <laughs> there you go. Um, difference between using a hair dryer versus a heat gun. I've never tried a heat gun. Heat guns are a lot hotter. Yeah, and, and I, I think I would worry that I would burn yeah, the paper. Yeah. Dana Mercury says, good morning, friends. Good morning, Dana Mercury. And we have an Ellen who is back from her lovely trip, and we are so happy you are here with us. Yeah, welcome back. Um, Windsor and Newton are the watercolors that Scott is using. Um, this person got a new pencil case and was going to put Copic markers in it. Go for it. Copics are big. I don't know if they'd fit in a pencil case. That's the problem, would be my problem with it. Um, will this piece go up in the store? It will. It will. Mm -hmm. um, having a good support system helps so much. It's so true. And we love all of you guys. Thank you so much. Y'all should do a podcast where you paint and talk about certain topics. Yeah. <laughs> That's that's what we're doing here. I think that's kind of just what this yeah, is. We just. Yeah. Catherine says hi, Donna. Hi, Scott. How are you guys? We're good. Are you, this is a question. Are you using any colors that are different from the list on your website? Thank you for the inspiration. Nope, it's the same colors. Yep. Yeah. So this is rose matter. Mm -hmm. um, this is Windsor orange. Mm -hmm. This uh, I use this sometimes, but it's rose matter, Windsor orange, uh, Windsor purple. Um, here's a burnt uh, sienna. Here's my sky blue you know like all of this are, are in there i have a couple extra that i might dabble dab into but not you're not going to see me use them here okay so windsor and newton watercolors yes he's tried copic markers good morning richard hey richard um we are having a good day we're just happy to be here with you guys um you're inspiring people to draw the YouTube are, okay, so um, Charlie Smith, 
We, there are 518 of you here right now. And it is absolutely and utterly impossible for me to get to every question. I try really hard. But sometimes Scott talks for a long time when he answers the questions too, so that makes it difficult. Um, he's very verbose like that. Um, so the mods are helping us answer questions. And they are our friends, and they are wonderful, and I couldn't do it without them. Do you find it harder to draw multiple people in the same art piece? Yeah, yeah, it's definitely harder to do multiple people than a single. This What I'm doing right now is probably the simplest thing, you know, a little watercolor portrait. But, you know, these are 90 minutes, and, and I'm trying to be able to finish something in that time mm -hmm. for you all. Ashreya asks, how do I keep myself from burning out while giving my friends the support they need? Wow, is that a poignant question for right now for me? I, yeah, I'll tell you from my point of view, what I always tell Donna is you have to shrink that circle. Um, this is great advice. This is, uh, what I do is, you know, you have you, and then your significant other, if you have one, you have your family, um, you have your friends, and, and that just keeps going out. And sometimes you just have to shrink it down to just you and just focus on yourself. Yeah. And then when you have enough energy and enough uh, head compassion space. and headspace, mm -hmm. then you expand it to the next one and the next mm -hmm. one and the next one. But you can't stretch yourself out to where you're trying to because you're going to lose yourself. You're going to lose. You're not going to be able to take care of yourself. Mm -hmm. So just shrink that space when you need to. Mm -hmm. I need time for myself. When I feel like I'm ready, I will then deal with you and the mm -hmm. other people or whatever. But, you know, it, it's hard when someone, you're, you know, a friend of yours or a family member is having a crisis mm -hmm. and you're having one too. It's hard. And, and it's hard to say that because you don't want to say, well, I'm dealing with this as well because you don't want to. But sometimes you just can't help someone either. You're drowning as well. Yep. You know, and you can't keep someone else alive. You can't throw somebody a life preserver when you only have your own life preserver and you can't reach anything. Yeah. Now, the other thing is try not to be that person who is always in a crisis. You know, try not to be that person because like we all me. have that. We all have that friend who. Um, or wife. <laughs> who is always drama. In a um, perpetual state of crisis. So yeah, keep that in mind. Don't use that against uh, you know against people. But um, however, sometimes there are people who are more emotional than their friend slash husband. <laughs> Some people know how to bring the drama. Some people give every stitch of themselves away to everybody else, and that creates drama because then they don't have anything left for themselves, but they don't realize what they're doing. So, and some, no, I'm just, so keep going. <laughs> there you are. Um, thanks for talking about anxiety and depression. This is like therapy. You know, let's just be real with each other because if you can't be real, I mean, I don't want to sit here on the other side of this and go, my life is beautiful. You know, it's, it is, it's pretty, it, look, we have a pretty good life. We really do. But everybody goes through stuff. Yeah. So let's just be honest about going through stuff, you know? Um, let's get back to art. Do you ever worry about proportions in your drawings? I do. I do. Um, and I spend so much time getting my proportions right. Yeah, he does. That I just now I just trace to get everything done. So that way I could spend the time doing the things I want to, which is the coloring and the inking. Because it's just, it's like, you know, when I'm out and I'm sketching and I'm doing, it's like, God, I, you know, I feel like I just spent half an hour doing something that would take me literally five minutes if I had a projector. And so I don't, I, I did enough drawing. I did enough proportions. I did enough figure drawing and everything to where it's like, I'm not learning anything. I'm just having to get to the next part. And so for me, I'll just project it. Um, Look at
<laughs> okay. Um, Anita wants you to make a Marvel sketchbook like you did with Harry Potter. Mm. Um, so I think it's the paper because I've done now several passes and it still feels really light. Like I'm not getting really any contrast in this. Hmm. And I'm realizing it's the paper. It's not soaking in as much? It's not soaking it as much, okay. yeah. I mean, I like Strathmore, it's okay, but um, I just, I feel like I'm having to add extra layers. Kind of mm -hmm. like I have to do with the Canson. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Viva says, I just don't talk to people. Haven't related to anyone that much in a while. You guys are funny. You know, it's it's true. Um, we are good today. Hi from Saudi Arabia. Got back into drawing. Thanks to y'all. That's Dreamscape. Oh, thank you. So you guys use y'all in, in Saudi Arabia too? That's cool. Yeah. Um, Crystal, what's the one piece of advice you would have given the younger version of yourself that started the art journey? Um, if I could go back, I would say stop drawing your original character out of your head and start drawing the world around you. I would have started a journal, um, you know, 10 years earlier, 20 years earlier, if I could have. Mm -hmm. That's really improved my art. I would also, if I could say a second thing, it would be, don't be afraid of a paintbrush. I was terrified of paintbrushes. And it really was. Yeah, so I just yeah. stuck with um, with the, uh, the colored pencils. Scott's got some videos on... Um drawing hands can you try to review japanese stationery we have reviewed some different stationery products um i've got some journal stuff up there we got some stationery pal stuff i'm working on some other stuff right now my favorite um hold up blow dryer <laughs> Maybe I'll think, do that. Maybe I'll do a video on all of my favorite um, stationary products. I don't think I'm going to use this paper again. Um, you bought three of them. How are you not going to use that paper again? Um, give it away. Guess what else is going in the tub? Okay. Um, so let me um, get to the next question. Yeah, you know what? Let me actually, I'm going to write that down right now. Um, let me do. Um, my current a video on my current favorite stationary products. How's that? I don't know if there's enough hours in the day um, for my washi tape collection, but we'll go from there. Um, let me write this down. Give me one second. Um, and by the way, just for anybody who doesn't know, um, the Japanese know how to do uh, stationary better than anybody. Oh my God, they have the best products. Um, do you ever regret being an artist? Every day of my life. <laughs> but, no, I like it. Uh, it is... It's, it's a double-edged sword, you know? You have your good days and your bad days. You have your, I'm so happy I could do this, and then you have your, why am I doing this? I think that's any career. And, and I think a lot mm -hmm. of... This, I, it's, it might be any career, but art is personal. So I think it's harder. Yeah. Uh, you know, but the thing is, I didn't pick it. It picked me. You know, I, I didn't choose to be an artist. It was just who I am. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Um, I've heard that if you make your passion your career, it takes the fun out of it. Did you find that with art? No. God, you guys' questions today are great. No, I, I, I didn't find that it made, you know, made me regret it. Well, it's, it's, I don't hate my career because of art. I hate the business. Oh and, God, and, the business stuff makes everything difficult. Yeah, but you know, you do, you do hate your art a lot. You know, I mean, that's, that's, that's just normal. That's the competitive nature in us all. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not happy with this piece just because I don't like the paper. I don't think it's 
taking you Doing know it's, what you it's, want it yeah to. it's it's just it's not taking i feel like i keep layering and layering and it fe and the and the, the the colors feel very very muted um it feels very thin and so i feel like i have to do so many layers whereas mm -hmm. if i was using like an arches or be creative it would have soaked in and, and the colors would have been more vibrant and then mm -hmm. deeper but do you <clears> feel let me ask this question do you feel like the Ohuhu paper, because you really like that paper, do you feel like that paper gave you the chance to, to do layers? Ohuhu is marker paper. Right, I understand that. But what I'm saying is, is that paper with the markers, it looked like when you were going over it, it would blend and the colors would yeah, blend. But that's, that's, yeah, it's, it's I'm just, just asking from a different medium perspective. I'm sorry, I was thinking, you said <clears> it's not <throat> blending, it's not soaking in, and it made me think of the marker paper. I don't know why, but it did. <laughs> I don't know why either, but... Um, <laughs> Yeah, I, I like the Ohuhu paper for markers. Um, absolutely nothing asks a very interesting question. If you could have any job, also you will automatically be a master at it the second you pick it up, which job would it be? Mm. Um, I'm trying to think of a job that would have the biggest impact on the world. And um, scientist that could cure cancer or something like that. That that's, I mean, when when I when I get posed with questions like this, I try to think of what is these are hypothetical, you know, a genie get grant you a wish kind of thing. I try not to think of what would benefit me, but what would benefit the most people. What's going to give me the most bang for the buck? Um, you know, I want to be the richest person. Or I want to be the best looking person. It doesn't do anybody any good other no, than they you. Didn't, they didn't ask that. I know I they didn't. So that's what I'm saying. Career, yeah, but I'm saying be? and instantly be a master at it. Mm -hmm. Well, I would want to be, you know, in some sort of position to where I could help people, and I think. A scientific position um, yeah but even the scientists haven't been able to cure cancer yet. but I would be a master at it so I don't know how good master is but I would have the best chance right that's what I'm thinking of um, I, I you know I mean I love the art I, I you know but I can only do so much with art you know the, the greatest artist in the world can only do so much the greatest musician well can only do so much it can make people happy it could bring people joy mm -hmm. But it can't cure cancer. It can't, uh, you know, end poverty. It can't stop uh, global warming. So, yeah. but if there is a if there is a um, a career mm -hmm. that could, that's the one I would want to be the master at. I would want to do whatever I could to make the biggest impact. How do you copy without exaggerating features when copying from a reference photo if you don't have a projector to trace? Um, you could try the grid method. The grid method is really easy to, to use. Um, you know, you, you, you cut things, you know, you, you make a grid on your piece of paper and you make the same exact grid uh, on, on your photo reference. And then you just look at each square and you just try to copy what's inside that. You just, you're taking it down to little bite-sized pieces and that'll get your proportions better. But the rest of it is just a lot of practice, honestly. Blow dryer. See how light this blue is? Um, yeah, what's the problem with it? It's not supposed to be that light. You okay. know, it's... it's uh... Santa says, life is to be enjoyed and experienced. It's easy and safe to stay inside. It's brave to step outside. This is my goal this year, stepping outside in my own adventures. That's great, Santa. It is. It is. And, and sometimes it is the most brave thing you can do to just step outside. Queen Hawkeye, I've heard that before. Don't set yourself on fire to keep someone else warm. I've heard that. Yeah. That's nice. It's true. It's very true. All right. I'm going to try some uh, 
Please, why are you shaking things again? God, I can't even watch you. Oy. Can you guys see that up here? Um, yes, we can. Okay, good. Yeah. Let's try this. <laughs> Ellen says community is therapy. It's important. It is true. It is true, but sometimes it's hard. But yeah, it is. How did you discover your love for art and what's the story behind the moment when you decided you want to be an artist? Oh, it's, it wasn't some magical moment. It was a uh, just that time in your life when you're a junior or senior in high school and they're saying, where do you want to go to college? What do you want to do with your life? Mm -hmm. And this was the only thing I was good at. Jasmine wants to know if you have um, tips for getting better at outlining and inking and love from Germany. Oh, thank you. Yes, there is a video on inking, a couple videos on inking. I don't know if they're going to help. I mean, I'm still learning and, um, I, you know, like, Boy. what? I'm sorry. That is a really, really vibrant blue from just a little teeny tiny bit of ink. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. But this is... I mean, I have to move this over to here. We don't know how many artworks are in the shame pile. One more drop. It's insane that that's just one drop. That's crazy. Right? It's crazy. This is this is what I'm saying is like I wouldn't have to do this with 100% cotton paper. It would absorb it more. Yeah. yeah, it just pulls. Yeah. This is what I'm saying. The paper definitely mm -hmm. makes a difference, and I love Strathmore. I just think they're a great brand, but I just have found that. <clears throat> well, the the cotton paper really seems to soak up the paint the way you want it to right now. Yeah, yeah. Low dryer. Let's okay. take another pass with the yellow and see if we can bring some more life to his face. All right. You okay? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just writing some stuff down so I remember it. Um, yes, he traced it before he inked it. Uh-oh, warning. The stream's current bit rate is lower than the recommended bit rate. And the recommended use a bit rate of 4,500 kbps. What happened? Did it go away or? No, the stream is still there. Just weird. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It just, that just popped up. Um, uh, Madeline says, thank you for being honest and true with us. You guys are so much better than lots of other social media persons. You know, um, everybody's doing the best that they can. And we just, today, we're just a little more raw than usual because, you know, because we are. So, but we're happy you're here. Um, but I also think our intentions of being on social media aren't the same as most people. We're not looking to get famous or rich or anything like that. Oh, God, like that. no. Please never. Mm-mm. Nope. Mm-mm. Blow dryer. Some, gosh, it's just I can't seem to get any life into his face. I'm gonna bring in some red. Um, okay, so it's really funny. Like um, we met um, Jordan Smith Studios the other day when we were out at um, at our art store, and um, it was so funny because you know, like 
we are not doing any of this to, to be, like Scott said, like famous or anything. we could care the least. So we left there, and since our son was coming home, came home, changed clothes, put my sweatpants on, and proceeded to clean a toilet and wash all of his bed sheets. So um, lest you ever think our life is glamorous, my hands were cleaning a toilet two days ago. So there you go. That's how glamorous we are. <laughs> we're so not glamorous. Um, do you ever do watercolor portraits without inking? Not really. I like the inking. You did Wednesday. You did Wander Over Sea of Fog for me. Oh, that's true. Well, mm -hmm. it wasn't a portrait, but yeah. Yeah, but you did. It was good. And you guys, I came downstairs yesterday, and I was so tired because I had not slept yet again with the dog. And, Hold on. Blow um, dryer. Okay. All right, that's it. This is just not. Uh oh. Look at. I mean, there's no life to this. Anyway, the short story was he framed it and we hung it on the wall. Oh no! Out. Oh, oh, that's the. No, that's the. No, that's the big. How are you gonna figure out what the heck to you? Oh boy. Okay, I claim the fifth. I have no idea what's going on right now. No idea. Mm -hmm. No clue. Never realized how swoopy. Oh, uh, Dua says use acrylics for the highlights? Question mark. No, see acrylics are glossy and uh, watercolors are matte. Why do you ink before you paint? Have you ever done it the other way around? I did. I did that with gouache. It was fun, but I like the structure of the ink and um, I, I, it, it, it gives me like a foundation to work with. Oh, Alice is super sick right now, but watching the live has made my day a thousand times better. Love y'all. Oh, Please feel better, Alice. Yeah. I'm so sorry you're sick. Has it gotten easier to be less attached to your pieces the more you make? And if so, what makes a piece more sentimental to you? Love you both. That's oh, adventuring. You. It definitely makes it easier. Like I could throw this away no problem. Um, it, 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 Cause you're uh, making so much art. Yeah, I think I think also when you just start to make art for yourself, for just the fun of it, um, and you stop thinking of, oh, this is going to go up in a gallery somewhere, and you're just making art to make art, mm -hmm. I think it definitely makes it easier for you to experiment, for you to play, mm -hmm. um, for you to just have fun. And so I, I just... Yeah, I, I, I think, you know, and, and and Donna was just asking me the other day, she's like, you, you haven't made any serious art in a while, like just, you know, like longer pieces. Like something he would do for himself. Yeah. Like know. an Art Nouveau piece or something. And I was like, I, I, I don't have any desire to at this mm -hmm. point. But you do like what you're painting every day. That's the thing. I do. I'm enjoying it. You're myself. enjoying it. Yeah. yeah. I think that was my point to make sure he enjoyed it. Santa says it's all about making a difference, spreading some good and kindness in this world. Yeah. The world just needs more Boy, of it. Howdy. Truer words were never typed. Very, very true. If everybody was just, just incrementally nicer to everybody else, this world would be so much better of a place. Um, let's see. So many people want you to draw Taylor Swift. You are going to have to draw Taylor Swift at some point. Yeah, our dog is okay. She is, um, she's on heart medication. So she's a little heart patient and she's old. She's, she's almost 12. So she's an old lady and, um, and she's been a, a wonderful baby girl and um she will have the absolute best life 
uh, that we can give her for as long as she has it. What's the weirdest thing you've ever painted or painted on? Um, the weirdest thing I ever painted, I can't really talk about because it was too weird. It really um, was very weird. But I um, painted on. I painted a uh, Wiley Coyote under my best friend's uh, hood on a 69 oh. Camaro. <laughs> that was fun. I did do that. I forgot about that. Is it still there? Yeah, he still has it. Oh my God, that's so funny. Nathaniel says, I love the blow dryer man. I literally listened to a guy ranting about an expired coupon not working and then realizing it's the wrong number. The blow dryer is the best ASMR to have ever existed. <laughs> You're funny. Um, I talk about you to my dad because lately you've been such an inspiration. It makes me happy. That's Irene. Oh, thank you, Irene. Um, yeah, sorry for the echo. I'm closer to the microphone now, so hopefully that'll help. Um, do you know who Proco is? I think it would be nice for a collab. Yes, I, I've been talking to him about uh, doing one, and he actually sent me some uh, sketchbooks. And we we are going to do, I think he wanted to do some Last of Us stuff together. And I'm just waiting to hear back from them. I like to draw cartoonist characters. What do you guys draw? I think um, I am my side. My aside, okay. I if I, I butchered that, I apologize. Um, is asking everybody else, not you. Um, let's see. I am learning coloring because of you, and I'm pretty good at the moment. I even started a blog about art. I did oh, drawing great. before, but never watercolor, and it's amazing. Fantastic. I'm trying to be kind, but I think I'm a weirdo. The people who I meet in real life give me the cold shoulder every time. Sarah Animations, listen to me. You are a weirdo, just we, like the rest of us. We are all weird who are trying to make the world a better place. Yeah. Don't stop. Hold the door for people. Smile and say good morning. Compliment somebody on their shoes or their clothes or whatever. Don't stop being kind because other people look at you like you have a third eye in the middle of your forehead. That is how the only way we will change this world is if we all do this together. That's the only way we're gonna fix this, Junkamunka. And thank you for doing that. Hold your head up high and do it. <laughs> Ellen says, it's Harry from Oompa Loompa Land. Yep. Uh, I needed to just get some color down there. Um, Steven wants you to make a challenge again. I have been thinking of challenges. It's just the, the problem with challenges is that I have to do them too. Yep. And I don't really feel he like... He changed his mind three times before he did this painting this Yeah, morning, this, guys, this okay? actually, if you look, well, you mm -hmm. can't see it, but there was a drawing of Dolly Parton. Mm -hmm. Underneath this that. This used to be Dolly Parton. Yep. Um, yep. I erased it. He did. And, uh, but yeah, I, I just... Who's your favorite yeah. comic book artist, the one that's been the most inspirational to you? John Buscema. There you go. Um, keep up the good work, Uncle Scott. Take care of yourself. Thank you, Donna. You're amazing, too. You guys are sweet. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Being kind goes a long way. You know, you never know what person might be having a bad day, and if you just hold a door for them or smile and say hi, you can change their day and their mood and then they'll turn around and hold a door for somebody else. That's all it's gonna take, guys. Um, if you could choose to give your art style slash experience to someone, who would it be? You mean like gift it to somebody? I think so, yeah. I mean, I don't have anybody in particular. Um, we have made stickers of Scott's art and you can find those on Crowdmade. We made the, um, the hair journal stickers and the, the hair journal stickers. Yeah, mm -hmm. and blow dryer stickers, but yeah. Um, what are your thoughts on AI art, and do you have any advice on being demotivated from AI art? Um, yeah, I mean, AI art is just people farting around and trying to steal, you know, other artists' art and make a computer do it. It's fine. It's... It is what it is. You can't do anything about it. Um, I, I think artists have 
survived uh, photography. Mm-hmm. They've survived Photoshop. Mm-hmm. Um, they survived, you know, digital art. Mm-hmm. Uh, we'll be fine. Mm-hmm. We'll be fine. Just, just make art. Make yeah. art for you. You know what? Put your head down and don't worry about what anybody's doing around you. You know, it's it's not a. I'm not saying be like a an ostrich and bury your head in the sand. What I'm saying is, is that. Oh. If this is what you want to do, if this is what makes you happy, what do you care what people are doing with AI art? Um, who was your favorite person that you painted? Love from Scotland. Favorite person that I painted? Um, Robin Williams, I think. I miss him. Okay. So I'm sorry. Like I said, sometimes so a piece work. is going to work out and sometimes it doesn't, right? And um, this is me just saying, well, this one wasn't working out. Krishna okay. Priya, and if I butchered your name, forgive me. Can you give some tips to someone who wants to pursue making comics, but I don't know where to start? Uh, yes. First, start making comics. Just, I, I did web comics. You can do a web comic. You can finish a comic book and then do another one and then do another one. I don't care if it's 22 pages or 122 pages. Mm -hmm. Finish it. That's the only way you're going to learn by doing it. So many people are waiting for their chance to get it to do it. But making comics is the best way to learn how to make comics and do a career. And you don't need a big publisher uh, to come in and save you mm -hmm. and give you an opportunity. You can make a comic book and do it all your own. You can self-publish it. You can put it online. There's so many opportunities that you have that most of us didn't have back in the day. Mm -hmm. So You guys have a lot of cool things available to yeah. you today. Um, Scott has never done graffiti art. Yes, you can call him Paperboy. No, he's never drawn Fortnite characters. I am at it says he's a big fan or they're a big fan. Um, sorry to ruin the mood, but a question. I'm not sure if I should tell somebody an important thing. I feel like I'm attention grabbing. What should I do? If it's um, an important thing, you should tell them. Yeah, I mean, it, it's it's... Try to do this. This is what I do. And, and maybe this is something that I had to teach myself, again, before I was diagnosed um, autistic. But I try to think of what is the best possible situation of, you know, like what is the best possible thing I could say in this, in this situation? Like if I was writing this situation, what would be the cool thing that a nice person would say? And that's how I try to... To do it, you know, um, you, you remember they, they had those those things, you know, what would Jesus do or what would Jesus say or whatever it is, you know. Um, I think that is those kind of, you know, what would what would your favorite person do? What would the smart mm -hmm. person do? What would a, a, a compassionate person do? Mm -hmm. That that stuff doesn't come naturally to me. So I think about what I think a, a compassionate person or a smart person or a considerate person would say and then I try to say that I don't know if that helps at all but that's that's at least that's gotten me through you know some some difficult uh, situations uh, he trained himself to paint with watercolor not well either does it bother you when people copy or redraw your work? No, no, I'm honored. Um, I'm going to tell you this right now. Uh, everybody says his eyes are green. And oh, they are. that okay. you need to move your, and fix the eyes and make them green. Okay. Let's go, come on. Tired of looking at it, dude. I'm giving you a hard time. Um, those are not Posca markers. Please tell us what giant, ridiculous marker set you are using right now that is insane because there's too many colors. That's they, my uh, this is 320 colors of Ohuhus. Ohuhus. 
What brands are the two white pencils you were using? Uh, Prismacolor. Um, recommendations for colored pencils? Uh, I I like, uh, I mean, I've only used them once and I really liked them, uh, was um, Karen Dosh. Um, Polaration says Scott Donna and all of us are healing the world with art. You know what? If that's what it takes, then that's what we'll do. Seriously. Um, we need a full on tutorial of this. Um, okay, so if you're looking right now, um, this is these are markers that Scott's using. This started off as watercolor. It did. And, and I wasn't happy with it. And so right. now I'm going over it with mm -hmm. markers. So tell us how the paper is responding to this. The paper is okay. Yeah, it's not leaking or anything like that. Okay. It's thick paper. It's just, We're just not absorbing. Asking. I, I know I'm answering yeah. it's just not absorbing the um, the water the watercolor very mm -hmm. well and so now I'm like in a in a bit of frustration I am trying to build up some color with some markers mm -hmm. and uh, for better or worse okay so let's talk about uh, giving away some stuff so I'm first let me apologize profusely um, I've had a really rocky start to the year. Um, I have had a lot of anxiety, et cetera, et cetera. And I wasn't kidding when I said I'm working through a bunch of stuff. So um, I am going to be putting together some uh, packets for giveaways. We have been asked by so many groups to provide art supplies um, for schools and for um, rehab type of places, um, which I didn't even know art therapy was a part of, of um, uh, rehab. I, I had no idea. So we are going to put together some things. We are going to do that. It's just be patient with me. It's going to take me just a little bit longer to get this together. And I, I do apologize. I want to get this stuff into your hands. Um, but uh, I have had a rough start to the year, so we'll go there. Um, do you want to try Stadler coloring pencils? They're affordable um, and have good quality. We could try that. Yeah, I'll look for mm -hmm. them. Have you ever painted something like Bob Ross? Uh, no, I've never into that kind of style of art. You're not a, that kind of big a landscape kind of thing. Um, I'm looking to go into illustration. Is there anything I would need to know to go into that field? That's Ann Gardner. Um, no, I mean, I'm assuming you want to get into college and do that. I would um, study illustrators like a Norman Rockwell or, um, gosh. You could look at Drew Struzan, who did movie posters. Mm -hmm. uh, I would look into that and then start to put some of that into your mm -hmm. art style. Yep. Um, let's see. Is it bad? Angel wants to know. Is it bad to draw the same object or person? Should I try and draw other things? Yes. I mean, not bad as in like you're a bad person or anything like that. Not helpful in the long run, I think. is Don't use the words good and bad. There's no you know, like bad, but I would say it's not helpful to you in the long run to just keep drawing the same thing over and over and over again, mm -hmm. if it's out of your head. I mean, but even so, even if you're like, you know, hey, I'm going to draw the same scenery every day, mm -hmm. you're going to get really good at that one scenery, but there's so much to life. There's so much to look at. Mm -hmm. um, that's why I, I try to say draw everything every day if you can. Mm -hmm. um, have you ever painted a portrait from a live model? Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, I wouldn't say painted. I would say, um, you know, sketched. Mm -hmm. But, yeah. Um, do you throw away old art? Because I've been so unmotivated and throwing all my bad art away. Don't do that. Yeah, don't throw. I mean, you can throw away some bad art if you want to. But I wouldn't but throw you, away all of yeah, it. Yeah, you want to look back Save some of it so you can come. see. Yeah, you want to see how much you've improved. How is AI art, art theft? Um, because if you look at it, you could still see the signatures from the original artist. It's mm -hmm. not creating art out of nothing. It is taking a bunch of photo, uh, photos or scans of art, mm -hmm. and it is amalgamating and photoshopping it all together. I, I played around with Mid Journey, and like I said, I'm, I'm still able to see the uh, signatures mm -hmm. on the pieces. Yeah, I am not impressed. You know, and again, I, I have nothing against 
AI art. I mean, it's it's fine if some people want to do it or if the whole world wants to do it. That's totally fine. It doesn't in any way detract from what I do. I'm making art. AI is making art. You know, it's totally fine. It's I I felt the same way when I was doing when you know everybody started to do digital art. It didn't stop me from making my art. I didn't feel threatened by it. And the art that people are doing digitally is so good. It really is. Oh, but that's different. People no, it's not because... No, people who are doing digital art are actually making art. No, AI because, stuff. if you'll let me finish Sorry. a sentence, is because there's a lot of people who will just take a photograph and just trace right over it. And But how is that any different than what I do if I'm projecting? You see what I'm saying? It's like it. everybody... There's There's different levels of... I think a lot of it goes goes back to people look at art and they go, well, you did you just traced this. You didn't do that. So tracing is bad. Okay. And then now this is bad. Okay. Now this is bad. And I just go, it's just art. Let people do it. If they didn't do anything other than, hey, AI art, please make me this painting. And then boom, there it is. You know what? You want to call that art? It's art. It's totally fine. And if everybody loves it, great. God bless them. I'm still going to make my art. And I know that's frustrating because you want you know, you want people to say, "Well, I I spent so much time on this. I worked so hard on this." And that person just typed in a couple prompts. And and I get it. I really do. I get it. But that's just life. That's just, you know, as artists it shouldn't stop you from making the art that you like. Will it mean that, hey, there's going to be less jobs? Yeah, probably. There's probably going to be less jobs for us artists. And, but it doesn't, it doesn't mean that you need to stop making art. It just means that you probably won't be able to have a career in making art. Okay. Um, they're saying, what would Scott do? Um, if you had the option to put your art into any museum, which would you choose? The Louvre. I knew you were going to say the Louvre. I mean, it's the coolest museum, you know. Um, how do you know what skin colors to use? I don't. I'm. I'm. I mean, I'm looking at a photo, but I. I kind of have my own set of colors that I like, and I'm trying to push myself away from realism and more towards, you know, like a, more of an impressionist kind of thing. Okay. This person's name is Pluviophile. Do you know what that means? No. It's a lover of rain or the smell of rain. Oh. Anyway, I love that. Um, how did you get into painting? What inspired you? How did you start? Do you think you have to start at a young age to be talented? Um, no, you don't have to start at a young age. You don't have to have talent. Um, and uh, that was a lot of questions. How did you get into painting? What inspired you and how did you start? I got into painting in my 40s, um, and uh, and I was just tired of colored pencils. Um, this guy uses Prismacolor colored pencils, but he really loves the Caron d'Ache pencils. They are just ridiculously expensive where we are. What songs do you listen to nowadays? And what kind of music in general? Um... I still think I listen to a lot of Seal, Def Leppard, and uh, Boston. Could you give some tips on making art more cartoony? I tend to just copy the reference too closely and end up making every piece look weird. Yeah, I do too. I do too. Um, I, I have a couple of videos on doing caricatures, and um, I don't know if that'll help, but I have that. Um, have you ever drawn characters from books? Yeah. I mean, I, I, I'm not particularly fond of uh, sketching from my imagination. So for me, it's not something I do a lot. Have you broken any bones trying to draw or do something stupid? Uh, I only broken bones as a kid, you know, playing baseball. And I hit a tree. Because the tree was third base. Any recommendations for someone's tree? Someone's starting out with watercolor. Uh, work light to dark. 
Are you a fan of Stranger Things? <laughs> it was okay. He's drawn a lot of characters from that. Uh, we had a bunny years ago. Her name was Muffin. She was wonderful. The Ohuhus are average price. Um, $30 for a set of like 30 markers or about a buck a piece. Um, do you watch any TV show or movies? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm currently watching um, Willow. Yes, we started Willow. You know, which is cute. Uh, well, maybe cute's not the right word. Cute is but... not the right word. Okay, it's interesting. It is interesting. Um, Santa said, what I think is missed by many, those that put forth to spread positivity and kindness to others often miss the incredibly important job to spread, po to spread positivity and kindness to ourselves. Oh. Yeah. Santa, can you just, can we make a book of all of your Santa-isms? I want to call them Santa-isms because you have the best, you're just, and if you guys are not following Santa, please. For all that is good in the world, go follow Santa. Follow him on Instagram and TikTok and follow him here on YouTube. Because if you're having a down day, you need to go watch some of his videos. Because you will you cannot have a bad day if you're watching some of Santa's videos. You just can't. Um, I don't know if this is any better than it was. I guess we'll see. Um, let's see. A lot of people are here on their first live. Would you recommend getting a good traveling bag to hold art supplies? Always. Mm -hmm. Yep. What do you think about visiting India? Uh, it was something we were supposed to do. We were working on a movie. We were indeed. And, uh, mm -hmm. and then the movie got ran out of money. So. Mm -hmm. um, how long do you usually take to make a good piece? <laughs> I don't know. I've never done one. Pluvio file. We should have put. You should have put good in quotes. Air quotes. I saw Willow too, but I preferred the original movie. What genre of movie are you into? Um, fantasy, sci-fi, romantic comedy. Why do Ohuhu markers have a Hawaiian feel? It's in the name because that's where they're made in Hawaii. Um. Let's see. Fart around until something looks good is my motivation. Yeah. Um, Karandash, greetings from Switzerland. That's Nichi Pippi. Yeah, exactly, right? Because you guys can get them over there. Um, would you ever do a tutorial on how to get proportions right? I think I did a video on that, but basically I was just directing you to uh, uh, a couple books. Um, tips for blending markers. You're watching him blend right now. Yeah, and there's, there's a whole playlist for markers. I think you should be able to get something out of it. What are the best Ohuhu markers to get, like for cheap, but also a good amount of colors? I want to try brush tip ones, and I know they are expensive. Yeah, I, I, I think if, you're go if you want cheap, get the Artex markers you can get 80 of them for 26 dollars and they are just as good if you're looking for cheap yeah but only if you're looking for cheap it's a great price i, I mean I, I think the ohuhus are wonderful but when it comes to markers they're all the same <laughs> um scott is not big on redrawing art pieces he's not he's not going to go back and redraw stuff that he did um years ago um so you started tell again the progression of this piece please you started with watercolor well originally it was a it was a portrait of dolly parton yeah <laughs> and then i didn't like that so i erased it right before the live started and then um he did it became, literally right before the live and then uh i drew harry styles mm -hmm. and then um i did the inking and then the watercolors and i just didn't like it this is a new um watercolor set, uh, uh, sketch pad mm -hmm. and I just I, I'm not very happy with the uh, the saturation of the colors and so after an hour of working on it I just decided no I, I'm I'm not happy and mm -hmm. so I broke out the colored pen or the the markers and now just a little bit of colored pencils 
Okay. Um, Cheese is cheddar. Where would you recommend getting a good traveling bag to hold art supplies? Um, I have a backpack that I bought from Amazon that is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. For like, what, 15 bucks? No, it's 50 bucks, I think. That one was 50 bucks? I think so. I don't think so. I think the other one was 50 bucks. I think that one was like cheaper. Anyway. Look, so I have had moms email me asking about bags that they could buy for their kids or where did Scott get his travel bag. The leather bag that he has is like, he found it on eBay many years ago and they're not cheap. They're very expensive. Um, if you want an expensive bag, great. And you can afford it, even better. You can go to Walmart and buy a bag. You could use a tote bag that you use for your groceries. It doesn't matter what you put your stuff in. Just if you want to go out and sketch, just throw it in and go. If you want something specific, look around. Maybe try like um, off-brand stores like Marshalls or Ross or TJ Maxx or Target or you know something like that where you can find something that's cheaper um, that you can put stuff in. And you can you can buy it. Don't take the tags off. Try to put your stuff in and return it if you don't like it. You know. I personally, being that I am the bag lady, that is what I would do. Have you tried watercolor pencils and what are your thoughts? Uh, I did, there's a video on that and watercolor markers. And I think they're okay. Um, what I would, it just feels like an extra step that you don't need um, cause you're still gonna wind up getting a paintbrush and painting with them. Mm -hmm. So why spend all that time drawing with them? That was my thoughts. And you wind up having the residuals of the drawing uh, down below too, you know, underneath all of that. Um, uh, let's see. Um, let's see. The mods are our friends and they know us very well and they answer questions for us. Um, and they're helping me because they're really, <coughs> No way. Right now there's 398 of you here. I cannot possibly get to every single question that you guys um, ask and I apologize for that. And then at the same time, I will refer you to my mods who are our friends and answer all those questions. And I could not do this without them. Love you guys. Mm -hmm. um, so there you go. My partner and I are gonna watch Animal Crackers this weekend and we are super excited. We're both huge fans of your work. Oh, thank oh, you. Oh, thank you. Still inside. Let us know how you like it. That is a um, passion project. Lots of love there. We oh, really have and fun. can we just tell you, you might have seen in the news like Bear McCreary um, got nominated for a Grammy. He was the one who did our score for Animal Crackers. And um, he's it's a great a, score. He, what? It's a great score is what I was saying. Oh, yeah. It's fantastic. I mean, we're a little jaded. but I figured you were getting to that point, so I figured I'd just kind of speed I it up. And... Thanks. Thanks for that. I was just going to tell you he's the real deal. I love, we love him. Um, having Has having an online audience affected the way you view your own art or your creative process? Ooh. Yeah. Well, that's a good question. It absolutely does. Um, it, it And, and, and I, I made a community post uh, on the channel. Uh, kind of talking about that, how much just all of your encouragement and support has helped us get through tough times. So yeah, having having this channel and having all of you has made a huge difference. I am being asked if you realize how long you've been live. I do, I do. And uh, <laughs> you guys could go at any point I'm gonna. Doggone it! He's gonna finish this if it kills him this morning. Well, yeah. See, this is. I think these. Jamie these... says, "Ugh, I'm a bag lady too, Donna. Love the bags and the shoes." I know, right? Steph nerd. I just got a fall raven for my art in the wild. I don't know what that is. F J A L L R A V E N. What is that stuff? What What is that? Is it a bag? Is it a... I don't there know we go. Is. See, that's what I was looking for. What is that? Ready? <laughs> You're in the zone. 
Um, oh, we've got a question for Bethany Primrose, and I'm going to read it out loud. Um, Viavari Patel says, hi, Bethany. I've been trying oil paints for, for a long time, and I've got good results, but it takes so long. Do you have any suggestions for speeding it up? Yeah, move to acrylics or watercolor. Stop that. Gouache. Stop it. Bethany's working on her videos. Wink, wink. Working on her videos. She's going to have stuff. Emma says, I love my art bag. Technically, it's a laptop bag. See, you guys can use whatever you want. Whatever makes you happy. Use what makes you the most happy. Apparently, you have inspired a lot of people. And Bethany is still on the eternal search for the perfect art bag. It doesn't exist. What are you kidding? I found mine. Don't say it doesn't exist. Uh, yes, but I know Bethany. <laughs> She's looking for the unicorn. <laughs> oh. Don't get me wrong. I will happily help you shop for as many bags as you want. Should I add some um, texture to this? Do it. Do it. Have you ever tried oil painting, honey? In high school. Um, how do you unwind after a long day? That is a good question. I don't. That's a good... You know what? I'm going to skew on that one for a little bit. And I'm going to turn it back and ask you guys. We work for ourselves. And we work out of our home. So we are finding it difficult to tear ourselves away from our work. Because we feel like it encompasses our life 24-7. So this weekend, after our son goes back to school, we are going to try to take a few hours off with no phone. Can't make me. <laughs> Watch me. <laughs> Throw your phone in the river. Um, but what do you guys do to unwind? I mean, how do you get away from it all? Sometimes it seems like everything is all there all the time. And clearly we don't have answers. So I'm throwing it back at you guys. I wanna know what you guys do to unwind. Honey, what are your best tips for blending markers while I wait for people to reply? Um, start off light to dark, <clears throat> kind of like you would with, uh, with watercolors. And then um, use, I use colored pencils to come back in with highlights. Do you prefer buying supplies online or going and personally buying them? Um, I think buying supplies online is uh, better for my wallet because I don't make impulse buys. But um, oh God, I'm a horrible impulse buyer. Yeah. Oh. But that's just me. You also don't like to go out to buy your things, so you prefer to buy them online and have them come to you. Yeah. Um, Tracy says, any type of messenger bag is great. Have you ever dealt with artist block? If yes, please suggest for me how to deal with it. There is a video on that. So yes, I have, and I made a whole yeah. video about it. Do you have any tips on how to paint landscapes? Um, not really. I mean, I, I'm, I'm not really much of a landscape artist. I mean, I do it from time to time, but not really my specialty. And yeah, it, 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 it is um, 11 o'clock and the mods have yeah. lives. So I, I, I'm going to sign off. I might mm -hmm. doodle with this a little more. Mm -hmm. if, you got, if I wind up making a video of this, I'm going to need to know what Harry Styles songs are. So if you guys would recommend some, that would really help. So in, when the video, when the live becomes a video, not here now, but... If you guys can uh, leave me some comments with some some songs, I would love that. And, um, um, Scott is answering the questions. I don't know if you're not hearing him answer questions, but I read them to him and then he answers them. We've been doing that for two hours now. I pet my dogs or just chill or take them on a walk. That's a good way to do it. Sketching or reading probably, usually while listening to my favorite albums. Personally, I listen to music or channel my thoughts of art and writing. I cry while listening to music. That's a good one. I play my clarinet or draw. A good book and a nice hot cup of herbal tea. I love that. 
Yeah, for working at home, it's important to separate working space, relaxing space, and making sure work never spills into relaxing space. <laughs> that is our hardest thing. Our workspace is the whole house. I literally have a hobbit hole. You do? Mm-hmm. I play guitar. Oh, I bet that's fun. Donna getting close to the mic and softly speaking goes from Donna on the screen to sounding like Donna is in the room and made the dogs jump. Oh no, Santa, <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Hi, Coco. Hi, Holly. If you're having trouble with oil painting, taking forever to dry, buy this stuff from Windsor Newton. It's called Liquid Original for oil paint. It speed dries it. Woo, there you go. I listen to music, watch my favorite show, or draw. <laughs> What do you think of drawing cartoon characters? I like that. I like cartoon characters. He does indeed. Where can I watch Animal Crackers? I've heard about it, but never seen it. I was wondering where I can see it. On Netflix. There we go. All right, I'm done. I'm done. He's, are you sure? Yes. Okay, I am going to end the stream. I am so grateful for all of you being here today. Thank you all. Letting us have a raw day. It's like Friday around Friday was was whoa Friday I don't know I'll find another word for it I can't think right now thanks everybody we will see you on Monday oh when are we gonna do my thing I don't know we'll figure it out we'll go on the community thing we'll, we'll ask everybody okay we will ask and then we will set it up all right we'll talk to you guys later have a Bye. wonderful, have a wonderful weekend, weekend.